And welcome back to Sports Weekly on IEMG. I'm your host, Pep Fernandez. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you like local sports. We're talking right now girls flag football. And this year, in 2024, girls flag football is a CIF championship sport for the first time. We will actually have playoffs at the end of this season. I know some schools and some leagues and school districts have been playing girls flag football for a year or two already. But it is finally, officially, a CIF Southern Section sport. Well, for the Cajon Cowboys, they've been going at it for a while already. Citrus Belt League play this season, and the way they do it is they pick one location each week, and all the CBL teams get together, and they play one game, 60 minutes long. The Cowgirls taking on Ukaipa in this one. And, uh, yeah, that's Andrea Reyes coming up with a big interception there for the Cowgirls. And then Vanessa Sepulveda, Check out the yards after the catch here. Cajon would go on to beat Redlands by a final score of 40 to 8. Big win against Redlands at Ukaipa and kind of like a, a little CBL tournament, right? So big win for them there. And uh, they are coached this season by Jeff Embriani, the former head coach at San Bernardino High School. We're going to hear from him in just a moment, but let's hear from a couple of the star players for the Cajon girls flag football team. Uh, we want to make it to playoffs for sure. Uh, I think we I, I, we have the potential to make it to playoffs. Um, I honestly just like, you know, catching the ball. Like on defense, I like getting the picks, and then on offense, I like head topping people. <laughs> Defensively, something that was working well was the quarterback just, you know, watching the field, trying to see who's open, throwing good passes. I honestly feel like our communication was better than other games and I feel like we worked as a team to get a blowout game today. I feel like we had a rough patch like trying to connect uh, connect each other but our team bodies made us um, closer together and we have better communication and like um, I feel like our goal as a team right now is to make it to playoffs. We started off a little rocky but we're getting there like we're improving each game at a time and we're yeah. Yeah, quarterback Jalen Kiros and uh, star receiver Layla Campbell having big games for the Cowgirls there. As I mentioned, Jeff Embriani, the former head football coach at San Bernardino High School, has uh, taken over the Cajon Girls flag football squad. He's excited about this growing sport. The, the numbers are there. The girls are very excited about this. Cajon is playing very well, and, uh, and maybe they'll compete for a league championship in the CBL and get to the playoffs and make a run here. Here's our exclusive interview with Jeff Embriani, the head football coach for Cajon. All right, we're here with Cajon girls flag football coach Jeff Embriani. Yes, that Jeff Embriani, right? Uh, from San Bernardino High School as well to the Cardinals back in the day when we started Sports Weekly. Coach, girls flag football, still relatively new. It's the first year to CIF championship sport. So as the head coach, I mean, is it trying to get these girls on the same page, keep it simple? Because they're all kind of learning like on the fly, right? Correct. It's trying to get them to learn just to learn the game, yeah. what a route is, uh, what a line of scrimmage is. You're kind of kind of laugh about that, but they're coming along. They're actually a lot, a lot easier to coach because they're not, they don't know anything different. Mm -hmm. So when you tell them something to do, they understand. Oh, that's what you want me to do. They didn't get coached by anybody else, so I'm their coach to try to show them what's going on. And so they're, how, they're coming along along. I mean, really, really, really good, actually. So how are you coming along? Because I had to ask people on the sideline, like. Um, okay, first down is 20 yards. Wait, hold on. Uh, so the ball was dead when it was fumbled. Like I, did, I was, I'm trying to learn the rules it, too. It's a quick game because it's 20 yards first down to get four plays, and you can't really argue about it. You can't talk about it because the running clock. Yeah. So if you argue about it, the clock's gonna run. You're not gonna get your next plan. So that's my biggest thing. If you, I just see all the time, go, 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 NASCAR, NASCAR. Let's go fast. Yeah. Try to keep the girls going, not to think too much. Just, yeah. just, just react. Just have fun, throw the ball, and have fun. And today they actually did. My quarterback had a really good game today. We had some girls catch the ball, so they had a lot of fun. And we got to play everybody. Yeah. So can't every, be, everybody can't, wins, right? Can't, can't be the night when everybody plays. All right, finally, Coach, you know, we're talking after, like you just mentioned, 40-8 to eight against Redlands High School, big win in, in CBL play. What's the goals for this team? Is it is it compete for a league championship? Now that it's a CIF sport, I mean, you can go to the playoffs in girls flag football. What kind of goals do you have for your team this year? Our, our goal is to compete for it. I think uh, let's get this first round out of the way. We get another W next week. We play CV, which is a good team. 
But if we can go three and two the first round, get ready for the second round, just a squeeze. I into the playoffs, or we somebody loses, and we get in, it'd just be a great opportunity for the girls to see it just keep going and growing. So, I'm having fun. So am I, and that's Jeff Embriani, the Cajon Girls Flag Football Coach. All right, let's jump right into some volleyball. San Gorgonio at home against Paris. San G has gotten on a roll of late, playing some really good volleyball. Uh, first set here against the Panthers, it's number 13, Aubrey Pasias serving up the ace. Then Paris playing the net very well. Big block there to turn away Sanji and get the point. And then later, Paris somehow sneaks this pass. The block, or the attempted block, I should say, of San Gorgonio. It's going to drop in there for a Paris point. But Sanji would come on strong as they always do. Kayliani Ellis touches it home for the point. Good job there by. And then here comes Damaris Moreno for the point for San Gorgonio. San G would drop the first or win the first set 25-20. They would drop the second set 25-21. And uh, then they would win 25-11, 25-13. So they would defeat Paris in four sets to pick up another win on the season. Congratulations to San Gorgonio. Another big volleyball win on their home floor. All right, and I just want to give a shout out to the San Gorgonio girls tennis team hot out there this past week and I think you already know that um Sanji going up against Ramona in triple digits they got the match in so just want to give them a shout out for fighting through the heat and getting that match in they did lose to Ramona by a score of 13 to 5 but uh credit to San G for taking the court and uh, getting that match in and also another shout out from uh San Gorgonio tennis to Cajon boys water polo what a week for Cajon a last second victory Pacific. That was the game-winning goal, and then they followed that up with a 14-4 win against Aquinas. So two big wins for Cajon this past week. A, a last-second winner against Pacific and a rivalry game, a rivalry match against Aquinas. When we come back here on Sports Weekly on IEMG College Football, we'll check in with SBVC's brand-new head football coach, Nate Turner. That's next here on Sports Weekly on IEMG.